is a significant part of your job uh, contacting and communicating with government, uh, their departments, agencies, or crown corporations? Yes, yes, it is. And how many hours per month would you say that uh, you spend on that? Um, it, it's hard to quantify that because if we're busy with existing contracts, then there's contract management and other components versus new business development and interactions and identifying new opportunities. Let's look for a number. You, you can use you and your partner combined, Mr. Anthony. How many how many hours per month? I I sorry, I can answer that honestly accurately, sir. Is it uh, more than eighty? Yes, per month, for sure. More than eighty per month. Okay. Is, is it more than a hundred? I I'm, I can't quantify. I'm just giving you an answer of eighty. More than eighty. So, uh, do you also proactive? That includes proactively making the government aware of the services uh, that you offer. Again, sorry, it depends. It depends on whether or not we are with Arrive Cam. There was not eighty hours of meeting and proposing and getting new business because we were managing a hundred resources at that time. Are you registered? So it varies. Are you registered to lobby? No, I'm not because we do not charge a fee. As an owner of a GC Strategies, you obviously have control over your company's website. Um, you were here 16 months ago as part of the Arrive scam inquiry, and I asked you in October 2022 to provide names of senior government officials that offer glowing endorsements for you on your website. I want to read some of those uh, because um, uh, you haven't had a chance over the last 16 months, I guess, to furnish us with that information. Um, Here's one for you. I think they are first and foremost are a taxpayer. Um, they, GC Strategy, see the bigger picture and do not chase the quick sale. I think they are first and foremost are a taxpayer and see efficiency and getting the best value for government. That's the chief data officer of the public sector. Who who was that? What's their name? So first of all, apologies for not getting that information to you. I, I thought I had. I mean, I sent hundreds of pages at that day, and I'm more than happy to give you that information in writing. <laughs> Okay, like, let's be serious, sir. Uh, you've had 16 months, and so you believe you, you want us to believe that you're going to provide us with that information now that you've been asked again. Um, Government of Canada senior executive said, quote, GC Strategies, listen and try to find solutions to my problem versus selling me a solution to a problem I've never had. Who was that person? So I'm sorry, you can ask me the three or four that are on there. And my answer is going to be the same. I will get you that information. I promise you that. I, I thought I'd sent Sir, it over 16 months let, ago. Let me be very clear that in the Arrive scam, there are all kinds of players who play all kinds of different roles. And you've demonstrated yourself to be a liar. You've lied before a parliamentary committee on multiple occasions. You even undertook to provide to me the, this information 16 months ago. You and I had this exchange. And now you're here. And the only reason you came was because you were threatened to be arrested and you've, you've come uh, uh, virtually and, uh, and now your undertaking is to provide the information you promise cross your heart that you're going to do it this time, but you couldn't do it before. Uh, it's, it, it strains reason and certainly demonstrates that um, you, know, you don't have any credibility when it comes to the questions that we ask, and w which leaves me to wonder what I should even bother asking you because... I can't believe anything that you're going to say. Will you provide us with those names right now? You obviously know, you obviously know who the VP of a major crown corporation was who appears on your website. The chief information officer for the government of Canada. What was the name? You know, you know. I said previously, I will, I will give you, you these information. No, sir. No, Even sir. I do not accept that. You will provide this committee with a name. You told us 16 months, you've had, I, you've I had 16 months, you've had 16 months to do it. And this is your opportunity now to demonstrate that you are true to your word. So are you, are you going to make that demonstration or are you going to prove uh, what we know to be true? And that's that you're not honest. Like I said, I appreciate the question. I will give you the answers. Yeah, your appreciation for the question isn't the reason that I asked it. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for, Again, I'm looking, I'm, the I'm looking for the information. I said I would give you the information. Yeah, you also said that 16 months ago. 
sir, it is uh, not just contempt of, of Parliament, but it's contemptuous to Canadians. They are lined up at food banks in record numbers, and you are raking in millions of dollars off the backs of Canadians. And then when you're called to provide even just the smallest bit of accountability, you, you laugh in Canadians' face. And it's, um, it's, it's disgusting, to be clear. And, um, and, well, we'll see if you do, in fact, provide those names finally this time. But after 16 months, um, I certainly don't believe you, and neither can Canadians. Thanks. That is our time. Mr. Uh, Firth, you're welcome to offer a quick response. Otherwise, we'll go to Mr. Kismuchuk. Mr. Firth, did you want to respond to that? 